welcome all today we are going to study about welded connections so coming to the welded connections welding is a process of bonding pieces of metals by heating them to plastic or fluid states this is what the definition of welding next part is the advantages and disadvantages advantages are these are the points of advantages if you go through it you will understand it and coming to the disadvantages these are the disadvantages okay coming to the next part is the classification of welds the welds can be classified first one is based on their position it can be classified as flat horizontal vertical edge or overhead that is if a vertical vertical means if you are welding two pieces in a vertical direction then it is a vertical weld if you are joining two metals in a horizontal direction then it is a horizontal weld in that way we have different types of weld depending upon the position the second type is based on their type uh, that means whether it is a groove weld or it's a plug weld or it's a slot weld all these uh, we will study later we will be having with the separate uh, uh, what is a groove weld what is a plug weld what is slot weld we will be discussing later again uh, mainly there are uh, depending upon the type of joining that is based on a method of joining it can be classified as fillet weld and butt weld okay first we will be dealing with the butt weld this butt weld is nothing but the groove weld okay we are making a small groove in order to join the two metals that type of weld we will call it as butt weld or groove weld so coming to the butt weld already i had written here you can see butt weld this is also known as groove weld depending upon the shape of the groove made for the welding it can be classified as follows the butt weld can be classified as follows you can see the first one is a square butt weld on one side these two are the two metal pieces need to be joined so no shape directly the two metals are kept nearer and it is welded this type of weld we call it as square butt weld okay this is only on one side here the same square butt weld on both sides we are going to join it this type of connection we call it as square butt weld connections again we have next type is a single v type that means on one side of each piece of the plate we will uh, make a small cut in order to obtain a v shape hence it is called as single v butt weld similarly if it make it on both the sides and if you weld it together then that we call it as double v butt joint similarly you have there is a small mistake here please uh, note it down this is the shape of u you can see here this is a u and this is all the same thing u so when it joins together it forms as a u shape hence it is called as single u shape butt weld similarly you can see here it is double u shape butt weld it is u here and it is u on the other side kept together and welded similarly you have j type butt weld you can see here this is a j type only j will be written uh, cut in only one piece of the metal whereas the other piece kept uh, un un uh, affected this is the other type only one side you will cut the plate in this uh, shape and will join it other plate we won't cut it and this we call it as vivel butt joint this we call it as single j butt joint so these are the classification in butt joints next next we will go with the fillet weld first then we will go with slot weld and plug weld coming to fillet weld 
the main difference between fillet weld and butt weld is that the two plates which are need to be connected are kept parallel in case of butt weld whereas here the two surface will be at 90 degree angle or any other angle it will not be kept in parallel if we keep it in parallel then it becomes butt weld here you can see the two edge of the plates need to be joined are in perpendicular directions you can see this and this is also perpendicular direction this is also perpendicular directions hence in fillet weld this is the commonly used uh, weld about uh, 80 to 90 percent of welds are fillet welds hence uh, this is uh, in all the uh, problems and all we will be going with uh, fillet welds maximum case in case of fillet weld you can see here this is the portion of the fillet weld if i expand it it will look something like this okay these two are the edges of the plates okay and this is the weld when we weld it the portion of the metal also gets melted and it bonds together okay here if we join these two ends of the two plates where the weld uh, uh, leg ends and if you draw a perpendicular direction this we call as throat of the weld okay usually throat of the weld will be 0.7 times the size of the weld here size or the leg of the weld is nothing but it is the distance from one end of the plate to the other end of the weld where it stops okay here this is we call it as leg for example here you can see from this point to the edge of the weld we call this as size so from this end to the end of the weld this we call it as size s usually a ideal uh, fillet weld is nothing but a weld with an angle of 45 degree next uh, we will go with uh, slot weld and plug weld you can see here this is the slot weld and plug weld in both the uh, slot weld as well as plug weld uh, we'll make a hole and keep it overlap okay one plate is kept over the other and we will weld it in both case it is same only the difference is in slot weld only the periphery of the hole we will weld it whereas in case of uh, plug weld the full area of the weld we will fill it with the fillet material that is the main difference and in uh, plug weld it is a smaller hole comparatively uh, slot weld only for the representation i have drawn it a bigger bigger part okay if not there will be a number of smaller uh, holes made in the uh, top plate then it is welded and the hole is filled fully whereas in case of uh, slot weld only the periphery of the uh, periphery of the hole is welded okay this is the main difference next we will go with the specification for welding what are the specification given in uh, is code uh, main important specification we will discuss here and uh, whenever we solve the problem the particular specification we will discuss at the time okay. the main part is clause 10.5.1.1 page number 78 fillet welds terminating at the ends or sides of the parts that means if you weld a plate these two are the two plates and this is the plate which carries the load and you are going to weld it something like this the clause says that you need whenever there is a weld like this you need to turn it or you need to give extra overturn okay or we we'll call this as return okay a minimum of two times the size of weld you should uh, return in the end of the uh, plate this is what the uh, specification says as per clause 10.5.1.1 similarly we have clause uh, 
10.5.2 that is uh, sorry 10.5.1.2 in case of lap joint that uh, the main thing is lap joint that is if you are using a uh, two plates if you are uh, connecting two plates using a lap joint that is uh, one plate over the other you are keeping one plate like this the second plate is like this okay and you are welding the minimum lap length is should be okay the uh, it should not be less than four times the thickness of the thinner part joint or 40 mm whichever is more this is what the clause says coming to the next part of the clause clause 10.5.2 it says that minimum size of the fillet weld shall not be less than 3 mm okay it is said by this particular clause 10.5.2 and uh, the effective throat thickness of the fillet weld shall not be less than 3 mm and uh, generally not to exceed 0.7 times the t or 1 t where t is the thickness of the thinner plate you can refer the clause in page number uh, 78 and please uh, also refer these two clauses in your IS code book clause 10.5.4 and clause 10.5.5 these two are somewhat important please go and refer it next the next part of the an important part of the code is clause 10.5.7.1.1 this is how we are going to design the belt of our fillet belt design strength of a fillet belt okay first whenever you design a welded connection you need to understand how to design a weld or how to design it it is very simple if you have a uh, plate like this and this plate carries uh, around uh, 150 kilonewton of load you need to apply weld something like this so this weld we take the length as this is L1 and this is L2 okay so total length length L is equal to L1 plus L2 you need to find only the total length of the weld okay this total length of the weld can be found using a simple process that is strength of weld strength of weld that is load p strength of weld total value is p which is equal to area of the weld into stress of the weld this is the formula usually we use uh, load is equal to area into uh, stress okay here area of the weld is nothing but length of the weld into throat thickness okay this is the area of the weld and the stress is nothing but f w d the design strength of the weld okay so the design strength of the weld f w d is determined by this particular formula so f w d is equal to f u divided by gamma m w that is partial safety factor for uh, welds into root 3 this is given by this particular clause okay where gamma mw you have whether it is 1.25 or 1.5 depending upon its whether it is a shop weld or field weld and what is fu yes fu is the smaller of the ultimate stress of the weld or metal usually a weld has a higher strength than metal so we will be taking the value of fu as a uh, grade of uh, uh, steel plates that is fe 410 so f u will be 410 newton per mm square this can be better understood by taking a problem hence we will go with uh, our first problem the problem describes like this determine the maximum factored load that can be applied at the joint this is a lap joint you can see one plate is in, on the top and the other one is on the bottom and it is welded on upper side as well as on the down side and length of the weld you can calculate 
since the width of the plate is 200 mm this is length is 200 mm this length is also 200 mm hence we get the total length of the weld as 400 mm and in the problem it is given that it is a 6 mm weld and it is given it's a shop weld now you need to find what is the value of p the factored load the joint can take that is p okay since the grade of steel is not given we can assume the grade of steel assume the grade of steel as fe 410 once we assume the grade of steel we will get the value of fu as 410 newton per mm square this is what the value will take hence uh, here you can see size s yes is given that is 6 mm and uh, gamma mw is since it is a shop weld gamma mw is 1.2 this you will obtain from table 5 in your IS code book okay and uh, length of the weld is already as told it is 400 mm now you need to calculate you can see here factored load taken by the weld is equal to P which is equal to area of the weld into stress of the weld Okay. As I just explained, area of the weld is nothing but length into throat thickness. This area has to be multiplied by stress of the weld. Here length we already found out it is 400 and throat thickness can be found using the formula throat thickness is equal to 0.7 times the size of the weld. Hence it is 0.7 into 6 which gives you 4.2 mm this 4.2 mm is the throat thickness hence throat thickness is 4.2 here and you need to find what is stress in the weld stress in the weld is given from the class which is fu divided by gamma mw into root 3 fu is 410 gamma mw is 1.25 into root 3 you will get the answer as 189.37 substitute that value here so area into stress will be equal to load and which will give you 318.14 kN this is the required answer it is just very simple similarly we will go see the next problem okay in this problem it is describes as calculate factored load and safe load for the figure shown and it is given grade of the steel is fe 410 and it's a field weld okay and uh, here you can see it is given isf 150 into 10 okay and this is 200 they mentioned it as 200 and this also 200 and this depth is isf 150 into 10 that means the depth is 150 mm hence from this you can calculate what is the length of the weld length of the weld is 200 plus 200 plus 150 it is 550 mm and in the problem it is given 5 mm thick fillet weld is used ultimately you need to calculate the value of p that is the uh, factored load as I said the factor load is nothing but P which is equal to area of the weld into stress in the weld area of the weld is nothing but L into T okay stress in the weld is FWD which we already found FWD is nothing but FU divided by gamma MW into root 3 FU is 410 is the grade of steel okay and uh, since it is a field weld we will be using 1.5 into root 3 so we got the answer as 157.80 that you need to substitute in this particular in this particular area okay and uh, it is l into t l we already said it is 200 plus 200 plus so 150 and t is the throat thickness it is you can see here throat thickness is 0.7 times the size it is 0.7 into 5 which is equal to 3.5 mm hence i have substituted it as 3.5 mm so i got the answer as 3 not 3.76 kN as the factored load taken by this particular joint for this particular weld
and if you need to calculate the safe load you can calculate safe load which is equal to factored load divided by partial safety factor that is 1.5 hence it is equal to 303.76 divided by 1.5 you will get it as 202.51 kilo newton next we'll go with the next problem okay here you can see the problem describes something like this a time member 75 into 8 mm that means the depth of the time member is 75 and thickness of the time member is 8 mm is used to transmit a factored load of 180 kilo newton a factored load is given design the fillet weld necessary to lap the joint steel used is of grade fe410 and thickness of the gusset plate that is the gusset plate which you are going to connect the uh, the time member is connected to the gusset plate is 12 mm thick okay and you need to consider the following cases okay what are the the first case is only side welds are used with end return okay that means you can see here this is only the side welds only on the two sides we are welded this we call is an end weld and this is also end weld whereas the top and bottom we call this as side welds so first case is only side welds are used okay the second case is side welds and one end weld are used okay third case is side welds and both end welds are used okay this is the question so here you need to design a joint so whenever it is asked to design a joint first thing you have to do is you need to select a size of the weld in order to select the size of the weld you can see here the plates needs needs to be connected has a thickness of uh, the tie plate has a thickness of 8 mm and uh, the gusset plate has a thickness of 12 mm okay in that the case Hence, the thicker part of the plate which needs to be connected is 12 mm. And from table 21 of your IS code, page number uh, 78, minimum size of the fillet weld required for 12 mm plate is 5 mm. It is given in the table. Hence, we have selected the size of the weld, it is 5 mm. Now we know that. Uh, now we need to calculate what is the total length of the weld required for the connection that we can found using the same formula load is equal to area of the weld into stress the load taken by the weld is equal to area of the weld into stress load taken by the weld should be equal to the load on the time member that is 180 10 raised power 3 and length is what we need to calculate thickness or throat thickness that we already we can found it is 0.7 into size of the weld size of the weld we already decided it is 5 mm hence you can take it as 0.7 into 5 mm so this gives you the area of the weld and multiplied by the uh, stress uh, stress is we can found using the formula fu divided by gamma mw into root 3 here nothing is mentioned about whether it's a, a shop weld or it's a field weld We'll assume it's a shop weld, hence we'll use the value of gamma MW as 1.25. Here only one unknown is there, that is L, hence we'll calculate what is L. L comes to be 271.57 mm, which is nearly equal to 272 mm. Okay, hence a total length of weld required for the connection is 272 mm. Okay, next we'll see the cases. The first case is only side welds are used that means we have top side and we have bottom side only these two sides you can weld in that case the length here we require is whatever the total length divided by 2 that is when you divide it by 2 you will get it as 136 mm hence let's provide 140 mm on both sides 140 here 140 here this is the design finished okay next the second case of the design or the question is when side welds and one end weld can be used 
So total length of the well remains same. It is 272 mm. Okay. And uh, when the side end weld can be used, this end weld length is 75 mm. That length can be detected from this particular value. That is 272 minus 75. The whole is divided by 2. You will get the answer nearly equal to 100. So 75, this is 100, this is 100. So altogether 100 plus 100 plus 75, it is 275 mm, which is greater than required. Hence, the design is safe. Okay. Similarly, when it is asked to collect, uh, when it is asked to uh, weld on all the four sides, the side welds as well as end welds, you can see this is 75, this is 75. So 75 plus 75, it is uh, 150. The remaining is uh, nearly 112. So you can provide 65 this side, 65 this side. It is 130, which is altogether it is greater than. 272 mm. Hence, the whenever it is asked to calculate side wells with end wells, you can design something like this. Thank you. We will meet in the next video.